Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we're going to be talking about making a speaker cable using foil, copper foil. Um, we have quite a lot of stuff in our warehouse and the other day I came across four reels of this. Now, when or why I made it, I don't know. Well, why is because it's probably going to sound awesome. It's using various different sizes of copper foil. So you have one length for each run. So this is the negative run. Um, it's cotton sleeved um, and then it's using a CMC banana at the end. So we're going to do a version of this. Um, but we're going to start with this here. This is the Mundorf FOL.CU 17 times 0.0. 07. There you go. Now we sell this in 10 meters lengths. So with a 10 meter length, you can actually make a stereo 2.5 meter. You might have to buy more, but it's not particularly expensive, this foil. So as you can see, this is reeled in. When you get yours, it will be tightly reeled. The main issue when working with this foil is that it does have a tendency to crimple. Can you see? Oh, it's a bit up and downy. I mean, obviously it's still gonna conduct in that state, but you wanna try and keep it as flat as possible. Um, for this, for intent and purposes today, we're just gonna do a 2.5 meter length. I'm gonna try and use long lengths. A desk here, so that's a meter. Don't do this on a kitchen surface. Your partner's gonna go mental. You could wear gloves for this. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, copper takes a while to tarnish. So, just measuring it up then. So that's one meter. Two meter. And then 2.5. There. So we're going to have to thread this foil through our cotton sleeving. This is the COT 12 13, which you can see is quite a good fit for there. But you can't put it through in this state. You have to cover the ends because this will snag. So just a bit of electrical tape. Fold it over. So that shouldn't snag on here now. And then you're going to thread it through this. So when you're threading through, you want it to be flat. So I'm going to put this over the end of the bench, like this. So I threaded the foil all the way through this. At the other end, you want it quite loosely on. The other end is there. And the bit I'm gonna cut, you know, it's just where it is. You don't need any excess, really. These scissors are great. 
poke it through, you've got to get rid of this tape that you had on. So peel that back. Cool. So we're going to be terminating our cotton clad copper speaker cable. Um, we're using two different types of heat shrink. You've cut your cotton to kind of near the end. And then you just pop that in there. Just going to through that, that's it. Don't worry if you've got a lot of um, copper there because you, you're going to roll this up to connect it to the banana. So pull it back a bit. Using a screwdriver, give it a quick measure on this. It's about two and a half di uh, millimeter diameter. So you come at 45 degree angle like this and kind of roll it over. Once the roll start, you don't really need the screwdriver. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. So now you can see that that is going to go over that. Yeah, cool, right? And then before you do anything, you need to kind of solder it together because you don't want it unwrapping. This point here is particularly important to solder. Really easy to solder this foil. And you don't want the foil to go all the way through because sometimes you have speakers that have a male part that you thread over with these BFA ones. So I'm just going to cut that, trim that down a bit. To cut you, um, the copper foil is always Scissors are a lot easier than snipe, snips. And then like that. down a minute so you can see there that's your join all sorted right we're going to start off with this is sorry that's a start that's a 19.1 um, this is the 4.8 so this bit's going to cover that bit there so kind of gauge how much you need like that you're going to need two bits the same size one two so pop that over like that give it a zap goes over that. Give that a zap. And then we're now moving up to the 6.4, which is this size. And you want it to be a bit longer than that length there, can you see? So about there. Now, obviously, it's only going to get to about there because that's going to stop its flow. So you need to cut a dart in up to about there. You 
Might have to cut a bit more in. Just pop it in there now. Yeah, a bit more. So, don't worry if it goes off a bit extra, it's fine. So I'm going to heat that up. Sorry, a bit hot. So I've just kind of molded it while it's still warm, just to sit around the corner there like that. Yep. So push up. Cool, that's about right. And then I'll pull back the cotton. You don't want the cotton being exposed. So about there. So it kind of meets here, at the bottom of that corner there, and then heats away. pleased with that. Um, now remember, you want to mark one of the ends. So when you actually wire it up, it's always going to be the same way. So I usually put a bit of blue around. The blue end will mark the amp end. So that, say, if you move your cables to another amp or setup, you know the flow. So I'm just popping a bit of 6.4 blue on the end there just to denote the amp end. Cool. So as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, pay careful attention to how we do it because that took some time to do, actually. We back and forth, back and forth. So uh, there you go. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.